Welcome back, everyone. I have things sorted out. Read all the books that we needed. Gained a little bit of farming experience because I uh, picked some stuff there, but uh, uh, I haven't actually done much else. Like I said, I was going to kind of do some other stuff, but I, I really didn't. Um, what we need to do right now is we just need to get a generator. And so we're going to go south to that location that we know there's a generator out nearby. We're going to bring it up here so we can at least start uh, powering our fridges to keep our produce and other food safe. After that, I think we're going to go get the gas trailer and let's bring it back here. We can worry about the uh, getting a, a generator for the gas pumps later, but right now we're just going to need to try and get that trailer up here. At least we'll have it nearby and when we do... Okay, how about like... Like a nice, safe like 30 miles an hour for the uh, speed limit here. Would be ideal. So I don't keep crashing into garbage. That's why I took this little car and not my uh, semi. So I got a couple of boys around here, it looks like. Now we're actually on a straight road off. A bit, but I think it's the next turn here. The Zeds keep making their way slowly up towards me. I really don't like it. Being honest. That's yeah, fine. Screw that mailbox. I think we could also put some stuff in the. Uh, shack up here. So go ahead and turn it off. I saw some zombies around. Let's stomp them out real quick, like... With them gone, I can focus on... Get the generator and other supplies out of here. Hey, lady. Are you really going to the gate when I'm right here? It's not even open. Why did you walk through it? What a worthless gate, huh? Alright, yeah. So if I remember correctly, I put a bunch of stuff in here. Which I'll just go ahead and grab. There was some stuff that I had that I did not necessarily need. I don't know if I need those or not. Hand axe, the honey, the stuff. <clears throat> Grab the metalworking stuff. Actually, I don't need metalworking one because I know I just read that. Oh yeah, that's where my metalworking mask is at. Perfect. All right, what else do we have in this area? Oh right, the propane tank and everything. Oh, perfect. Another gas can. Never had too many gas cans. Higher repair strips. Let's grab that. Um, I'll just go ahead and grab these. I guess those do weigh quite a bit, huh? Let's just go ahead and grab them there. And then just empty bottles in that. Alright. Let's throw this stuff in the trunk. stuff here and then we'll grab the generator is what I would say if we could put it all in there all right let's go grab it now all right back 
Krakow. No, I haven't seen a uh, a normal like uh, trailer for a semi yet. There are so many zombies. I've just been seeing. Uh, I think the only one we actually saw was the gas one. If we can find a uh, a proper like cargo trailer, that'd be just excellent. Cleared this road once before, and they're already just all over it. What? I've never seen that happen before. Okay. Note itself: do not take corners at a uh, sharp, fast speed, or else we will uh, possibly die. Now let's see this chocolate bar. Get our uh, calorie intake up, because we are very underweight. We're gonna Pop that up to get our fitness back. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and have a uh, chocolate cake, too, while we're at it. The more I eat, the more calories I'll take in, so the easier it'll be to uh, gain weight. So I'm just gonna pull this right here. Right off. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, spooky zombie. Right, so I think I'm gonna put the generator right here. Perfect. Now if I check the generator, it's gonna have no fuel in it, of course, as one does. But let's go ahead and unload this trunk real quick so we can get the gas can and everything. Okay. You know, I might as well store this, like, car stuff also in the sinks here. I don't know why I wouldn't. That there. That there. Because it's in the same, like, area. Right? So I might as well. There we go. All right, moving on over here. This section... Where's my metal working at? Let's get rid of this propane tank first because it weighs a lot. I know I have some more metal here. So, metal sheet, scrap metal. I think that was everything. Um, Canned goods. We can throw the canned stuff that we picked up in here. And miscellaneous stuff. Light bulbs. Soap goes in medical supplies. My bad. Wire goes in here, though. Medical supplies. Soap. There we go. Oh, right. The other food that I have. Duh. Like the honey, marinara, peanut butter, and pancake mix. Right, uh, crackers too. Then we have realized in the medical supply. We have cologne here, the antidepressants and antibiotics. Okay, and moving over to our uh, tool storage, we'll have this hand axe, trowel, welding mask. I think I just have some books, and uh, that's about it left, right? comic book. Let's see. Before I put them in, let's check to see if I actually have a use for them. Yep, fishing four. Foraging two, yep. And then metalworking. Oh, looks like I got all of them, so I don't need to put those in there. Put this magazine away, though. Alright, run down here to the seeds. Seed packet. Carrot packet. Oh, that's everything. And I can just run outside real quick. I moved all the trash that was there over to here. 
So I have a pile in the back that I'm not using. Mm -hmm. So it's all out of my way. I'm keeping the crowbar and the pipe wrench on me so I can break into places and stuff like that and whatnot, you know. All right, let's go ahead and drain gasoline from the tank. Perfect. Let's go ahead and fill up the generator then. Excuse me? I don't know why it wasn't letting me click before. But now if I turn this on, I guess I gotta connect the generator first, my bad. There we go. Now if I turn it on and look at the info, I should see it's gonna last for 11 days with the two fridges and the one light we have. Oof, not good, but it's better than nothing. It'll uh, keep our produce here going good. In fact, I'm going to throw that in the freezer, not the fridge. Here we go. All right, excellent. Um, and then this gas can, can I put it in here? I can. All right. Is there anything else in the trunk? Nope. Well, let's check the plants again while we're out here. So... We have ready for harvest carrots. Wait, did I harvest them? Okay. Young broccoli, ready for harvest carrots, young tomatoes, <gasps> seed bearing radishes. There we go, finally. If we look at our skills, we can see that the oh, farming's not improving very fast. Let's go read the book quick. I think we just picked up farming too, right? Yippers. Read it. Okay. Farming volume two is red. Let's go ahead and finish picking them up. And we got 52 radishes from that one. Or radish seeds from that. Jeez Louise. Unfortunately, radishes don't really give you too much uh, in terms of like, food. Hmm. These are the ones that I gave the most fertilizer to, and this one's not. Well, all right. How is that one well watered and like why is it showing up yellow or orange when this one is so green? Odd. Maybe carrots need more water? I don't know. Anyway, everything else is still growing. We can't really do much else here. Let's go ahead and run over to the bridges. Go ahead and put our radishes away. There we go. Alright, the radish seeds will go ahead and pack up. I'm just going to throw in here. We're not going to replant right now. I'm not going to worry about that. But let's go ahead and read the next farming book just for the lulls. So farming three, read. I just like to see the arrows next to all my stuff. There we go. All right. Cool. Um, so let's sleep. It's almost midnight anyway. We did not sleep very long at all. Well, whatever. It is time for food. Oh, we only still have some carrots left. But we're not eating those because we need to uh, bulk up. So what we will be eating is this whole box of cereal. Let's go ahead and throw the carrots back into here. There we go. All right. So if we get any more fridges, we're going to just end up spending more electricity, which isn't good. 
it's a dungeon board. Why don't we level up mechanics all the way here? Um, not all the way, but I mean further than we already have it. Should be pretty quick. Just do a couple of these. And the radio. Oh, we're like five experience away. Let's do this one next. The car is trashed, but it'll still get us where we're going. All right, there we go. Level right. four mechanics. Rock on. I guess we should read the next book then. Honestly, we're just waiting for morning before we set out on the road. Uh, Mechanics, Volume 3. Read it. Incidentally, I saw something interesting. Pack Mechanic Books? What happens if I do that? Can I just read them all? Oh no, I'd have to unpack them to read them, huh? Okay. I thought maybe I could, like read them all and uh, just have it like consolidated in like one item instead of having multiple but unfortunately nah okay read a book since you're feeling so unhappy maybe two books how about that there we go and then we'll write in the bound journal just transcribe our farming and other stats that we leveled up here. Yep. All right, it's now a decent amount of time here. Go ahead and pop out a pill. And we'll go ahead and just take that real quick. All right. This time, before we set out, I'm going to go ahead and fill up our water and take a drink. my time go all right before we get too far let me map out the route here so also I should remove the marking there since we picked up the generator and also from there and now put the marking like here because the generator is out in the field all right, anyway, <clears throat> moving on. So we're going to go back up here, all the way down to here. And we need to get to here. So, oof. The quickest route. I say, but I guess would be to go down here, through this road, through here, pick that up there, and then we can just go over this way back up, back through, and home. That's a long distance, y'all. But all right, we just gotta get to the main highway here, so let's do it. We're gonna go to a nice 35 cruising speed until we get out of this, and once we're on the main highway, we can speed up. But gotta be careful about how fast we're moving here. If at any point we reach half fuel before we obtain the, uh, the tanker, we're gonna have to turn around, or at least ditch the truck and try to find some fuel. Because that means we won't be able to make it back, and we don't want to be stranded in the middle of Zombie City. I don't think there's any cars on this road. I believe we pulled them all off, so we should be good. Hmm, 
it looks like 65 is about our top speed here. Now we're still powering through. I wish I could zoom out like a little bit further. So the truck is so big, it like cuts off a little bit more than I'm able to see here. Check the map real quick. All right, we have three more roads to pass by. One, basically one on each side. Once we get to the grouping of roads, we'll be basically there. They're all like clustered real close together. As long as we don't miss that, there's the one. There's two and there's three. I just hit someone. Didn't even see anything there. Like, even like the zombie corpses, my the big rig just like bounces over them. Look at it, just freaking flailing around. Okay, so we're turning here, and then we're turning here. And after this, we're going Okay, so we're going to go one, two, so the second road on the left is what we're going to use. Second road on the right, sorry. I don't know why I said left. One. The second one should be coming up in just a moment. There's two, I think. Yep. Now we're just gonna go left and then right. Come on. Who let me unpause it and then turn while in the menu? Excuse me, beep beep. Of course, we'll have to be careful of roadblocks if we see any. That's the end of the street. Come on, this is a semi truck. It has to have more torque than this. It shouldn't be getting stuck on robots. Not robots. But, uh... Okay, so we're just gonna follow this road all the way. Oh, screw off. Get out of here. Like the journey's done. Wouldn't it be cool if the semi truck could pick up the, uh, um, what do you call them? The mobile homes and just take one with us? Have to drive pretty slowly here. Where's the next? Okay, so it's across the railroad tracks. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the uh, the rig through all this. We're gonna be going very slow, which means if we get surrounded by zombies, we're kind of screwed. Okay. I think maybe we're gonna have to take the tanker back up this way instead of going around to the south like I had planned because that was a sharp turn right there if we go back that way. Hello. Hit the wrong button. When in doubt, just slam on the brakes. Dang, we've barely lost any fuel. This is... 
a lot of fishing in it. Also, I don't know if we've cleared all the cars off the road to the south, so we might have to just stick with uh, the north. It's, it's so, like, nerve-wracking driving this huge... Takes up the whole road. Truck. Just passed by that. I was thinking maybe if I follow that track, maybe it would lead me closer to uh, the thing quicker, but I don't think there's another intersection there, so... Not doing that. Okay, here's our road. Where does that north section lead? Somewhere, I don't know, but wherever it is, not for us. How far do we have to go on this straightaway? Not very. I was hoping I could floor it a little bit, but given the fact that the turn here, I don't want to give it too much power and then just rock it into something, you know. The next corner is up ahead a little bit. Ooh, I almost hit that freaking tree. Alright, here's our turn in. Sorry, I'm bad at backing up. Okay. Set it down there. Um. Excuse me. Am I not able to attach it? I should be able to, right? I can refuel from it. Hold on a minute. Let me climb in here and uh, turn off the, the engine. Let me Google something real quick. Um, let me just pop over to this screen and then uh, let me see here. Let's see. It was the W900 mod here. The mod even shows like a tanker truck being pulled by it. In control F tank. Yeah, truck can pull. Okay. <laughs> I was just me typing stuff. Hmm. Interesting. So it, the mod says that it will work for fuel trailers. But then there's a comment here that says fuel trailer. No clue how to fill it up. And the green activation point. No. Um, let's see. 
So how to connect the truck trailer. If you have key creation mod, the mouse icon. What? That's not it. Um, you have to move the truck under the trailer part where it's supposed to be hooked. After which you go back to the truck's cabin and while there you hold V for the UI to pop up. Wait, so I do it inside, hold on, inside the trailer? Inside the truck, hold on. Oh my god, okay. Hold on, let me go back to the screen. Okay, so first of all, yeah, there was a zombie outside. Um, growling at me. I'm gonna switch over here, hop out, and then deal with him. Not sure where he even came from. Deal with these guys too while we're here. So as my saying goes, dealing with the zombie now means we don't deal with it later. Okay. I'm gonna leave that one up there. Another one coming up? Whatever, let's just get in here and do it. Alright, so we hit V and we have this uh, attached fuel tanker. And that works like that. I don't know if the car has to be off or not, but that's just uh, how it works, so. I was expecting it to be like, yeah, you have to get out and do this and that, but I guess, yeah, semis are a little bit different. Where did these guys come from? That's just messed up, bro. All right. We're on the road again. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again, as that song says. What? what, what didn't I take my pills, like, just a little bit ago? be done while driving. That's the air brake button out. I still hear the helicopter though. I guess I have to finish playing the entire thing. I wish there was like a Moodle icon that said like whether or not I'm actually crazy right now or not. That'd be cool. Stopping distance is probably going to be screwed because of the trailer, but let's see. That's actually pretty good. Alright, so I think the plan will be, we're going to go up here, and when we get near the city, we're going to sleep in the truck. So we don't get screwed over, because if we were to, like, I don't know, get stuck somewhere, God forbid, um, I don't want to, you know, be stuck. So we got a left and a right, or a right and a left first here, the squiggly road. After that, we might take the nap. All right, let's check the map. Okay, now at the T intersection we will. After we go down the, the right path there. It's so hard to tell with the trees, like, if I'm going to get close to one and just clip it and just die. It really sucks. Do the crazy pills, or I guess the anti-crazy pills, do they... Do they make me tired? I haven't done like any hard work today. All right. Off. Why am I getting wet? The window's not open. Whatever, we're sleeping. I just got exhausted. 
What? Excuse me. Excuse me. I slept and got more tired. There's a fridge back here. Also a mattress. Oh, now that's nice. Huh. Didn't know that. Why am I... Hold on. Apparently I can't sleep in a truck. I, mean, I guess. I don't I don't know. How do I get out of here though? Um exit. Hey, right mouse button. You wanna work for me here? Can't get back to sleep, try again later. Okay, we'll just sleep on the ground then, I guess. Nope, we got tired again. Well, I, I don't get it. What is happening? It makes no sense. night as well. I doubt that place is going to have a bed. Let's get to the first house here. Perhaps I can get in there and sleep and we'll figure out what's going on. Oh, there was a zombie there. being uh, shocked should help me uh, get less tired here while I'm fighting the zombies. Hold on a moment. I'm gonna walk up here, or I guess run up here. Are they just gonna walk through the trailer? They are. Why are you looking that way? Okay, you know what? Let's go inside. Um, I believe the stairs are over here. Nope, this is the bathroom. Sleep time. There we go. Yeah, go away, sleep. Hey. 
Wait. Opening a pill counts as cooking? Whatever. I don't think enough time has passed for me to take another one yet, though. Why is there a zombie upstairs? That's just unacceptable right there. Okay. Out the window. I've already cleared the house once. I don't know why the zombies went upstairs. Unless it was from last night. Which... I guess would make sense. Out of the way, zombies. I ain't got time to deal with y'all. We're gonna have to do a wide turn here. There's also that black car in the middle of the uh, road up here we're gonna be wary about. I think if we pass on the right side of it, we should be okay. Can y'all get out of the road? You like children, Jesus. Okay, as long as we get past that, that's our last major obstacle, other than zombies. turns I need to do with this thing. Next right. Right here, so let's go. Whoop. Okay. Then we go left. And we just follow this road all the way until there's a right turn. And we just all went to me. Can you guys just not? For like a minute, maybe? Careful turn right there, okay. Yeah, yeah, out of the way. All right, so I think... Pause. Where am I at? Also, I should remove the uh, the text there. This is not the road I want to go down, but I... Yep. Brakes. Reverse. This way, and then kind of loop around here to get the turn radius we need. There we go. Excellent. Now we're basically home free. Assuming we don't like crash or hit anything or something like that. I really need to put like a, a marker on the road that leads south to my place. Whether it's like a dilapidated vehicle or something like that. Like a. Even just like a wall. A wall would be perfect. Put it like kind of out of the way so I won't hit it. And then it would be perfect. Oh, might as well replace the bandage. left turn, I think. I guess the ambulance is a good marker. Once I know the ambulance is there, it's then just like a left turn. 
And then we also have that uh, I guess road that leads north right here nearby. So once I see that road, I know that it's like just a hop, skip, and a jump. We're a good like 10 seconds away. Could be 15. Or I guess it's just like the first wide, like, gravel road. Right, let's turn on the uh, uh, cruise control. Going 30 miles an hour. So that way we can get home safe and sound. Without speeding too much and hitting anything. All that good jazz. Alright, honey, I'm home. Oop. Alright, we're just gonna put it here for right now. Ugh, oh, man. We now have our tanker home. Hooray! This guy has a little bit of a uh, fence and stuff here and there. You know what? That's just kind of life, isn't it? Alright, let's take a look at the um, condition of this. Engine condition, not doing good. Windshield armor definitely needs it. Um, headlights are in poor condition, probably from me bashing stuff around. We got a trunk there and a trunk there. I guess the things are in, are in black or are okay for the most part. Anything that's colored is well, not so much. Okay. I got a plan, or an idea, anyway. First of all, let's have a smoke. Let's take stock of what we have in our weapon drawer here. The other one. We have some shotguns, we have a battle rifle, which fires in full auto mode. I don't have any magazines for it. We have some Tech 9s, which uses 9mm, but I don't know if I want to use that instead of like a just normal 9mm pistol. We have an SKS rifle, a carbine. I'm just kind of looking for guns we could use here. Another 9mm pistol. Jeez Louise. Um, a revolver. I don't think that's going to be very helpful. I mean, it could be, and we could use it. Hmm. The 1911 uses 45 auto. Okay. The 17 uses 9 mil. Gotcha. Okay. Let's grab a 9 millimeter. All of its ammo. Let's grab a 1911. All of its magazines. And then, where's that revolver at? It uses 48, so I don't care about that. Um, let's grab one of our shotguns. Perfect. Where was the FAL? Probably under F, I would guess. Yeah, the FAL battle rifle. Let's, um,. Eject the magazine from it. FAL magazine uses 308s. Perfect. Alright, so if we use 308s, 45, and 9mm, along with shotgun shells, we can go ahead and uh, have some fun out there. You know what I mean? So. Throw that on there, and then the FAL. Already has a leather sling, so never mind. Surely I can't put like a leather sling on. Ah, okay. Go ahead and put that back here. A lightened stock. Let me get that real quick. Upgrade. 
Python stock. Hmm, took 0 0.4 pounds away. Not bad. All right. Ammunition. 308s, 45, 9 mils. Um, did I have any ammunition in here? I think this is all just ammo and stuff like that. Perfect. All right, and then the uh, 45 shells. Not 45 shells, the uh, other stuff. Anyway, uh, magazine. I'm gonna insert bullets. Okay. Let's go ahead and insert the mag. Perfect. And with the FAL, we're gonna have to actually uh, reload individually, which is not necessarily good. But fine, we'll go ahead and insert into the 1911 mags. Perfect, that one's good. Does the 1911 have a mag in it already? Looks like it does. Perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and holster that one. Excellent. And then the 1911s, which uses 9 mil. Let's go ahead and unbox a few of them. I'm going to go ahead and insert into all of those magazines, so there we go. See all of them made into that. So go ahead and box up the rest of the 9mm ammo. Throw it in my backpack for now. And then we need the 45 boxes. The rest of the 9mm. The 308s. Go, go ahead and uh, let's equip the shotgun. Throw the battle rifle in my bag. Throw the M9 and its magazines in the bag. Reduce our weight as much as possible here. The rest of this ammunition in the bag. All right, perfect. What does the Deagle use? I think it uses 44 mag rounds, right? I guess we could try that one too, but. We're just gonna go with this we have what we have now because otherwise we're gonna get overweight, basically. And so Alright. I move this stuff to the uh, other box. So I won't be able to put this stuff back in, but that's fine. All right. Um, so here's going to be the plan for right now, folks. We're going to wrap things up here today. When we come back tomorrow, what we'll be doing, going down to this gas station, since I'm pretty sure uh, compared to so there's the gas station here, right? And then there's the gas station here, which if we go here, we're going to have to go through that mess, which is always going to have just a bunch of zombies there because that's through a good portion of the town. But here, we're just at the top of the town, and most of the zombies should be down around here. So if we can secure the gas station, we can basically make it safe enough to take the tanker down. So I think what we'll do, we'll drive the tanker truck down right around here, across roads, get out, and just way late. Way late. What? Lay waste. Jesus Christ. Lay waste to all the zombies around and then we will get the generator, hook it up, use the fuel that's left in this tanker truck in order to power the generator. Then we'll go ahead and fill up the tanker truck tank, fill up the truck too, because why not? And then turn off the generator, come back home, and have plenty of fuel. But between now and then, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to do some uh, mechanicing stuff on the vehicles just to make sure that we have the best possible quality we can for the truck here. And when we come back, we'll go do that. So until then, bye for now.